Welcome and thank you for joining today. It's no accident that you're here at this moment. Whether you're feeling overwhelmed, battling anxiety, or facing uncertainties in your life, I want you to know that God sees you right where you are. He knows every detail of your situation, every thought and worry that weighs on your heart, and yet, in the midst of it all, His love for you is constant and unshakable. You are not forgotten, and you are not alone. God has a beautiful plan for your life even in the moments when everything feels uncertain or out of control. Fear often tries to grip our hearts, filling us with doubt or paralyzing us from moving forward. But here's the good news, God's word is filled with promises that offer us hope and courage even in the most challenging times. When fear threatens to take over, God invites us to lean into him to trust in his power and faithfulness. He wants to replace our fear with the kind of peace and confidence that comes from knowing we are held securely in His hands. Today, as we dive into His Word together, we will discover how faith in God can break the chains of fear, giving us the strength to overcome and walk boldly in the life He has called us to. We all face fear at some point in our lives. It's a universal experience, one that can sneak up on us unexpectedly or linger in the back of our minds, casting a shadow over our peace. Fear takes on many forms, fear of the unknown, when we aren't sure what lies ahead, fear of failure, when we doubt our ability to succeed, fear of rejection, when we worry about being unloved or unaccepted, and fear of the future, when uncertainty looms, making it difficult to see the path forward. But as believers in Christ, we don't have to face these fears on our own. God has equipped us with a powerful tool to combat fear, our faith in Him. Faith isn't just a feeling or a vague hope, it's a firm belief in God's promises and His unfailing love for us. While fear may try to paralyze us, keeping us from moving forward or making decisions, faith gives us the courage to rise up, to take the next step even when we can't see the whole picture. When fear whispers that we are alone or incapable, faith reminds us that God is with us every step of the way. He has gone before us, He walks beside us, and He hems us in from behind. This confidence in God's presence empowers us to press forward, no matter what challenges or uncertainties we face. Fear may be loud, but faith speaks louder, reminding us of God's strength, His protection, and His perfect plan for our lives. Let's turn to a few powerful Bible verses that show us how faith can rise above fear and give us the strength we need to overcome it. 1. Isaiah 41 verse 10 NIV So do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In this beautiful and reassuring verse, God speaks directly to his people, reminding them and us that we are never alone, especially when fear starts to take hold. Notice the personal tone of this verse, I am with you. I am your God. God is declaring that his presence is constant and personal. He is not distant or detached, but intimately involved in our lives, offering his strength and help when we feel weak. The command, do not fear, isn't just a suggestion, it's a reminder that we don't have to fear because God himself is with us. He is greater than any challenge or fear we face. We often fear because we feel vulnerable, like the weight of the world is on our shoulders. But God promises to uphold you with my righteous right hand. Think about that for a moment. God's own righteous right hand, symbolic of his power, authority, and ability to protect holds you up when you feel like you're sinking. His strength becomes your strength. His protection surrounds you, making it impossible for fear to have the final say. When fear rises within you, meditate on this truth, God is by your side, lifting you up and helping you stand firm in the face of whatever tries to shake you. No matter how overwhelming your circumstances may seem, His presence is greater than any fear that comes against you. 2 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 NIV For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. This verse is a powerful declaration of our identity as children of God. 
it reminds us that fear is not something God has placed within us. In fact, fear is completely opposite to the spirit he has given us. The spirit of God within us isn't one of timidity or fear, but of power, love and self-discipline. Fear often tries to make us feel small, helpless and paralyzed. It tells us that we are unable to handle the situations we face, that we should shrink back or give in to anxiety. But this verse reveals that such feelings of timidity do not come from God. Instead, God has given us something much more powerful, His Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit empowers us with three key gifts, power, love and self-discipline. Power. This isn't just physical strength, but spiritual power, the kind of strength that comes from knowing who you are in Christ and what God has equipped you to do. You are not powerless, you have access to God's unlimited power, enabling you to rise above fear and confront challenges head on. Love. God's Spirit fills us with His perfect love, which drives out fear, 1 John 4 verse 18. Fear often stems from the worry that something bad will happen or that we will be abandoned, but love reassures us of God's constant presence and care. His love for us is unchanging and unconditional, and when we operate in this love, fear loses its grip on us. Self-discipline or sound mind Fear tends to create confusion and irrational thinking. But God's Spirit brings clarity, peace, and the ability to make wise decisions. Instead of being overwhelmed by emotions, we can practice self-control, keeping our thoughts focused on God's truth and promises. So, when you feel fear creeping in, stop and remind yourself, fear is not from God. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you with His power, love and self-discipline. You are not weak or powerless in the face of fear, you have the Spirit of the living God within you, giving you the strength to face whatever challenge comes your way. God's Spirit gives us the courage to move forward, the love to overcome hatred or worry, and the wisdom to navigate life's difficulties with a clear mind. When we rely on the Holy Spirit, we can confront fear, knowing that God has already equipped us with everything we need to be victorious. 3 Psalm 34 verse 4 NIV I sought the Lord, and He answered me, He delivered me from all my fears. This verse, written by David, is a powerful testimony of God's faithfulness. David, a man who faced countless dangers, whether from enemies, battles, or personal struggles, knew firsthand what it meant to be afraid. Yet, instead of allowing fear to control him, David chose to seek the Lord. He didn't ignore his fears or try to fight them on his own. He brought them to God and God responded. In this simple yet profound statement, David reveals a vital truth for all of us when we seek God in our fear, He hears us and delivers us. This doesn't mean that we'll never experience fearful situations, but it means that when fear threatens to overtake us, we have somewhere to turn. God invites us to bring every fear, worry and anxiety to Him in prayer. David's experience reminds us that God is not distant or indifferent to our struggles. He is a loving father who listens to his children. When you feel overwhelmed by fear, it's important to remember that God is always available. He listens when you call out to him and he promises to respond. He doesn't just offer temporary comfort or relief, he delivers. His power can free you from the grip of fear. Seeking the Lord is an act of faith. It's a choice to trust that God is bigger than your fear and that He is able to deliver you from it. Sometimes, our natural response to fear is to try and manage it ourselves, but David teaches us that the key to freedom from fear is found in seeking God. When we put our faith in Him, He steps into our situation and does what only He can do, He delivers. So, when fear arises, take your fears to God. Bring them to Him in prayer, no matter how big or small they seem. He listens, and He cares deeply about what you're going through. Just as He delivered David, He will deliver you. Your faith in Him is the key to unlocking His peace and experiencing the freedom from fear that only He can provide.
4, Matthew 14, verses 27 to 31, Ben IV. When Peter walked on water toward Jesus, fear crept in as he saw the wind and the waves. He began to sink, but when he called out to Jesus, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying, You of little faith, why did you doubt? This story of Peter walking on water is such a vivid and relatable picture of what it's like to deal with fear. Peter, full of faith and confidence at first, stepped out of the boat at Jesus' command, doing the impossible, walking on water. But as soon as he took his eyes off Jesus and focused on the wind and the waves around him, fear began to take hold. In that moment of fear and doubt, Peter started to sink. Isn't that how fear often works in our lives? When we focus on the problems around us, the uncertainty, the obstacles, the what-ifs, fear creeps in and makes us feel like we're sinking. But Peter's response teaches us something incredibly important. When he realized he was sinking, he didn't try to save himself or panic. He cried out to Jesus, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus reached out and caught him. Jesus' response was immediate and filled with grace. He didn't let Peter drown, and he won't let you drown either. Even when your faith feels weak, even when doubt begins to cloud your mind, Jesus is always there, ready to save. All he asks is that we cry out to him, acknowledging our need for his help. Notice that after catching Peter, Jesus gently asked, You of little faith, why did you doubt? He wasn't angry or harsh with Peter. Instead, Jesus was inviting Peter and us to reflect on why we allow fear to override our faith. Jesus had already shown Peter that he had the power to make him walk on water, but the moment Peter shifted his focus to the circumstances rather than keeping his eyes on Jesus, fear took over. This story is a powerful reminder for all of us, fear will come, especially when life feels uncertain or overwhelming but we don't have to face it alone. Jesus is right there with us, ready to reach out and rescue us the moment we call on him. So, when fear tries to overwhelm you, don't be afraid to cry out to Jesus. It doesn't matter how big the waves are or how strong the wind blows, Jesus is stronger. He is always ready to extend his hand and lift you up, no matter how deep you feel you're sinking. Trust that his presence is greater than your fear, and let his hand be the one that holds you steady. 5. Joshua 1 verse 9 NIV Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. In this verse, we find God speaking directly to Joshua, preparing him for the monumental task of leading the Israelites into the promised land. Joshua was stepping into the shoes of Moses, an iconic leader, and the weight of responsibility must have felt overwhelming. The journey ahead would be filled with battles, challenges, and unknowns, and fear could have easily taken root in Joshua's heart. But before Joshua set out, God gave him this powerful command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. What's important to recognize here is that God wasn't just giving Joshua a pep talk. He was giving him a divine command rooted in the promise of his presence. The command to be strong and courageous wasn't based on Joshua's own ability or strength, but on the assurance that God would be with him wherever he went. God knew the journey wouldn't be easy, but he also knew that with his presence, Joshua could face any fear and overcome any obstacle. Fear could have held Joshua back. It could have kept him from fulfilling the incredible plan God had for him and for the people of Israel. Fear often does the same in our lives, it keeps us stuck, afraid to move forward, afraid to take the next step. But in the same way God spoke to Joshua, he speaks to us today, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. I am with you. This is the foundation of our courage, God's presence with us. When you're facing difficult decisions, uncertainties, or intimidating circumstances, it's easy to let fear paralyze you. 
But God calls you to be strong and courageous, not because you have all the answers or because the path is easy, but because he is walking with you. Just as he was with Joshua, he is with you, guiding you on your journey. Joshua's faith allowed him to move forward into the unknown, trusting that God was leading him. The same is true for you. Faith in God's presence and his promises will empower you to take bold steps even when the future is unclear. God is not only beside you, but he goes ahead of you, preparing the way. When fear whispers doubts in your ear, remind yourself of this truth, God is with me. I am not alone. I can be strong and courageous because he walks with me. Whatever you're facing today, whether it's a new challenge, a difficult decision, or an uncertain season, God's message to you is clear, do not be afraid. I am with you. His presence is the guarantee that you can overcome any fear and move forward in faith, trusting that he will guide you every step of the way. Living out your faith. Faith is more than just a mental agreement with what we believe about God, it's active, alive and dynamic. It's something we live out every day, especially when fear tries to take hold. Faith calls us to action, to respond to fear not by shrinking back, but by stepping forward with confidence in God's promises. It's easy to trust when everything is going well, but real faith is tested in moments of uncertainty, hardship, or fear. When fear rises up, it's a signal to turn to God's word. Speaking his truth out loud can shift the atmosphere of your heart and mind. When you declare God's promises over your life, you remind yourself that fear doesn't have the final say, God does. This is the essence of living out your faith, aligning your thoughts, words, and actions with the truth of who God is and what he has promised, even when circumstances seem overwhelming. Faith is choosing to move forward, even when it's hard. It's taking bold steps in the direction God is calling you, even when the path ahead is unclear. Each time you choose faith over fear, you are strengthening your relationship with God and growing in your spiritual walk. You're training your heart and mind to trust in His goodness, regardless of what life throws your way. Here are a few practical ways to live out your faith when fear tries to creep in. When you're afraid of the future, declare Jeremiah 29 verse 11 over your life, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This verse is a reminder that God's plans are good, and even though you may not know what tomorrow holds, you can trust that he holds your future securely in his hands. When fear of failure creeps in, remember Philippians 4 verse 13, which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Fear of failure can paralyze you, making you feel inadequate or unprepared, but this verse reminds you that your strength doesn't come from your own abilities, it comes from Christ. With his help, you are equipped to succeed in whatever he calls you to do. When you fear being alone, hold on to Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, which promises, The Lord your God goes with you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Loneliness can be one of the most powerful forms of fear, but God's promise is clear, you are never alone. He is always with you, walking beside you, even in the moments when you feel isolated or forgotten. Living out your faith means making a daily decision to trust in God's presence, power, and promises. It's an active choice to speak his word over your fears, to stand on his truth, and to take steps of faith, no matter how difficult it may seem. Each time you do, you are building a deeper reliance on God and experiencing the peace and courage that only He can provide. So today, as you face whatever challenges come your way, remember that faith is your weapon against fear. Speak God's word boldly, trust in His goodness and step forward in faith, knowing that He is with you, guiding and empowering you every step of the way. Let's take a moment now to pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being our strength and our refuge in times of fear. We ask that you help us to overcome every fear that tries to take hold of our hearts. Fill us with your peace and courage. Remind us that you are always with us even in the darkest moments. Help us to trust you more and more each day. Thank you for the victory we have in Jesus. In his name we pray.
Amen. Remember, faith overcomes fear. Keep your eyes on Jesus and you'll find the strength to face whatever comes your way. God bless you. If this message encouraged you, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts or your own experiences with overcoming fear in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more encouraging messages like this. Together, we can continue growing in faith and standing strong in God's promises. Stay blessed.